A powerful new feature in AutoCAD 2013 is the ability to link directly to inventor assemblies, as we'd see here, to generate base and projected views within layout tabs. Now, it's worth noting in this case that there's absolutely no geometry within this file. All we're going to do is establish a link to an inventor assembly. So we just navigate to the assembly. Here, we can define which view we'd like to look at, the positional representation, so if there's been several different views of the model stored, and the level of detail so that we could even suppress the number of parts, getting rid of internal parts so that we don't have to expend computational power to update that display. We'll then go ahead and open it. Some processing will occur, and then we'll be able to place it within our tab here. We'll go ahead and finalize the location of our base view and then project off of it. And the interesting thing to take away from this is that this is simply a living, breathing link back to the inventor assembly, not unlike an external reference would be for another DWG file. And as we can see here, the processing completes, and now our base and projected views have been computed. The next time I bring this drawing open, if something about the inventor assembly has changed, that will be updated as well. So this becomes a very good way to keep track of two-dimensional documentation, or things like assembly drawings uh, that you may want to maintain in an AutoCAD environment. So living, breathing link is accessed by using the base view from Inventor in AutoCAD 2013.